no-fault divorce feels to me, the criticism of no-fault divorce, feels to me like you're saying we should create barriers to exit. And I, I think there should be barriers to entry. Because once, once you're in this situation where one or both of you are out, I don't know how forcing people to stay in that situation or making it more expensive or protracted to get out of the situation that you're in is helpful. But I think there is a logic to saying, hey, this causes a tremendous amount of pain the way we're doing it right now. There's like a huge fail rate on this technology of marriage, right? This legal status of marriage. So why don't we make like, you know, with guns, there are people are always, oh, we should have a waiting period of X number of days. Well, why don't a waiting period about getting married? Why don't you have to take a test with this other person? Why don't you have to sit down? Like, you know, as Catholic, you have to do pre-cana, you know, and you have to sit. And what part of pre-cana is not just talking to a priest, it's talking to married couples. It's talking to, you know, they put the men in a room with, with a husband and he talks honestly about, yeah, we've been married 25 years and we're in this religious, you know, Catholic marriage and here's how we maintain it and here's how it's strong, you know, and the women, you know, talk to the women and, and then there's, you know, the men maybe talk to the women. Like it's a really, there's some education, premarital education. You get a learner's permit before you're allowed to get a driver's license. You have to take a test, then you have to get your learner's permit, then you have to drive for a little while and, and they have to take a road test. That's going to get a a driver's license. Like this is marriage, nothing. 20 bucks in Nevada and Elvis will marry you. And it's a legal status. What do you think should be, I, I was gonna mention as you already did, um, in the Catholic church, this is the, that's exactly the sy system that's put in place. Yeah. Uh, I guess you could call it, a, I don't know if I'd call it a barrier to entry, but it is, it's a, it's a longer entry. You have to walk, you know, you right. have to complete, uh, it's not so much barriers put in the way, but it's. Uh, it's a checklist. It's right. It's, it's, I mean, nothing great is ever achieved without having to struggle a little bit, right? Or, and why not make it that, you know, you want this thing, you want all that comes with it? Like, great, you got to do a couple things. You got to learn how, a little bit about each other. How do you think this could, uh, that could work outside of a religious institution? I don't know. You know, I think marriage for the majority of people is not a religious sacrament. I think for the majority of people, it's cultural. And, and that's the disagreement, you know, you had with Joe Rogan and that I think a, a lot of people would have when it comes to issues like same-sex marriage is they would say, well, marriage is about a commitment and it's about validating the legitimacy of a relationship. You know, if someone says, oh, this is my girlfriend, it's like, well, she could have been your girlfriend for like a week. It's not serious. Whereas you say, oh, this is my wife. It's like, okay, well, that's his wife. Like, that's, that's a big thing. That's a status. You know, even though someone's your girlfriend for 10 years or someone's your wife for 10 minutes, there may be a disparity in how well, you know, this person or how invested in you this person is, especially when marriage is so easy to achieve that you can just literally go anybody, you know, and just get married. So I, I think, what does it look like? I, I don't know. It could be as simple as just encouraging people who successfully are married to, you know, be available to or talk to or have, I mean, I don't know that you can See, I mean, in the current situation, it's you can't tell anybody to do anything without getting pilloried for it. So I don't really know that if you put any barrier. See, I don't use barrier as a bad thing. I think that, you know, I, I see a barrier as like something to be overcome. It's a hurdle. It's an obstacle. And it's something to be, find a way to climb past or get around. And so this is a challenge, like accept that challenge. And I I just don't know that, that um, what the formula, the recipe is. I, I'd like to think that some of the people that are very publicly talking about the virtue of marriage, the value of marriage, like a lot of Jordan Peterson's current work, when he talks about marriage, it, I think is very, very well done because he's talking about both the privilege and the challenge and the call to action and the duty and all the things that come with, you know, marriage. And, and instead of just, we spend so much time like talking about the cake and talking about the dress. And it's just another thing for your Instagram profile. It's just another opportunity to performatively, you know, talk about yourself. Like we've made, we've made this idea that is about joining yourself to another person so you can create life and sustain life. And we've made it about me, 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 me. And, and I don't know, how, how do you do that? How do you turn something that's supposed to be so selfless into something that's even more selfish than being alone? 